All right. This is just a comedy of errors today. Hey, welcome to Forging On. I'm Gary Brown. Um, I'm going to have to start doing some more like vlog type stuff for a while. I don't know if I'll carry my camera around all over the place. Uh, I don't really go a lot of places other than to work and back home. And uh, maybe, maybe I can do some videos at the uh, blacksmith shop uh, or club, guild, whatever you want to call it, that I go to. I haven't been over there in ages, but I'm going to get laid up. I can't do any forging for a while unless it's left-handed. Um, I put in a video how it hurt my shoulder. I put in a previous video how it hurt my shoulder. And uh, what I did is there's four muscle tendon groups or whatever that make up your rotator cuff. And I took major tears to two of them. I, they said a full, full depth, full width tear in two separate tendons. And uh, one of them either pulled away or separated, I can't remember the terminology, 19 millimeters. Made my arm hurt more just reading it, but that's what it is. Um, and I gotta go in about three weeks and get it, go have surgery. I'm not supposed to repair it. And then, uh, but I thought, you know, oh, I'll miss a week of work and then I can just start going to, to you know, physical therapy and there people are like, no, you're gonna miss like three or four weeks of work, six weeks of, or, or four months of physical therapy. I'm like, oh man. So I'm gonna be out of pocket for a while on forging. Unless I just want to do a comedy routine and forge my left hand. Uh, but I do other things. I'm hoping I can do some welding. I want to make some, there's another lot of welding projects I really want to do. I want to make a stand, a rolling stand for my gas forge I just got. And I want a separate rolling stand for, uh, for my slack tub, my, uh, my water tank. That, that I want to basically, I want it to roll, I want it to roll underneath and almost fit like a glove together with my uh, with my gas forge and then I can also separate it and use them separately. So, um, so that's why I'm, I'm still got to kind of design that but I don't know if I'll be able to lift all the steel and do all the cutting and do all that stuff with my shoulder messed up. I've been out weed eating which was hard on it. I got a lot of weeding to do but I just use my right, this, I'm right handed and my right shoulder's the one's jacked up. And I can, I can lift stuff like a curl but lifting my arm up, eh, I forget it. And so I just use my right hand to operate the trigger and then I use my left hand to swing the weed eater around. And so, uh, but it had, a, I have a lot of weed eating to do around here. I mean, I've been weed eating for quite a while tonight. And, uh, and so I'm out here cooling off in the shop right now and thought I'd just run this little video. So what do I talk about? What, I, what am I gonna do since most of my stuff was blacksmithing and some welding? and some product reviews occasionally. Whenever I bought something, I just wanted to, you know, kind of show what I bought and see how it worked. So, um, things I do. Um, so, by trade, by, by profession, I'm a computer programmer. I do uh, database level programming. Um, if you don't know anything about databases, to pull the data out of a database, they use, it's a relational database, they use a thing called Structured Query Language, SQL, and everybody says SQL for short. And so, in, in a lot of languages use that, if it has to go get, you know, whether it's Java, Perl, I mean anything, uh, ASP, anything using that, I got grass and everything else in my mouth, I've been weed eating, covered in stuff. Um, it goes against the database, anyway, so I use I go against Oracle databases, and and what I do is programming in it in a programming language that is dedicated just to Oracle databases. And it's called PL slash SQL. It's programming language for a structured query language, and it's uh, basically we just say PL SQL for short. And if you use a Microsoft's uh, database, that's SQL Server. Is the name of it like mine when I do is Oracle that one SQL Server they use structural query language SQL and it and their programming language is T SQL and IBM has DB2 and and then they recently or later on start calling it UDB but it's uh, it's their database just like Microsoft SQL Server and Oracle's database um, IBM's got theirs and they just reversed it they called it SQL PL for SQL PL programming language uh, but 
what I do in Oracle PL SQL is a very strong, it's a uh, object-oriented language. It's very powerful, got a lot of functions. I've been doing it full time, nothing else but that since uh, 2006. I started in about 2004. Uh, I've been programming since 91, but uh, got into that part of it. Anyway, I hope I don't care about that. And then, uh, then I went in and I got into, uh, and I've got an Arduino, which I have messed with a couple of years. I've got some leather work, haven't done in a while. Um, I've got, uh, I might try welding and doing odd, like if you just want to learn welding, go over to see Jody at Welding Tips and Tricks. I mean, he's, he's a teacher and he's really good at it. And he's set up for it. I'm not uh, set up as well as he is. And so, uh, but one thing I show is like the one-offs you won't learn in his thing. One thing I heard something called recently was, uh, they took two welding rods and they called it Texas TIG or something. But I learned it a little differently um, 30 years ago. And I break the flux off and say you got sheet metal and, and you only got a stick welder. And the sheet metals, you got to you know, tear in or something, you got to weld it up. And you only have a stick welder, usually you just blow a hole in. You can't, you know, that's more of a TIG and MIG welding project. But if you only have a stick, what I do is I would break the flux off of one welding rod and I'd take a second welding, normal welding rod and I would hold this down on the, the brake and then I would strike my arc to this and then I'd work the two together and, and make a puddle and uh, but keeping most of my heat on the other rod. And it, it might have a little warpage but it's, it, it, and you might blow holes in it but you can build it back up around there with that process. And, it, you know, in a pinch it works. And maybe that kind of stuff I can show you if my arm will hold up to it before I have surgery. Um, I'll come out and set up my welder for, it's on MIG right now, I'll set it for stick. Maybe we can do something like that for a fun little thing. And, um, you know, if anything else, like I said, I do that. You know, welding, torch work. I try forging with my left hand. Um, I've got some other things out there that I've been working on that, uh, that I had filmed prior to this and I'm gonna put them out. Um, I put one out like yesterday, the day before, and I may put one out next week, uh, just kind of spreading them out uh, before I, it was, I made those before I hurt my arm. And so, you know, maybe y'all, something you want to learn about. Uh, maybe I can go back and start doing the leather or the or break out all that Arduino stuff and we can try to make some kind of a little fun project. And, um, or, you know, we can just, Come out here and try a little welding, and I probably could still weld with this hand as long as I set it up to where I'm not like I, I can't couldn't do overhead because I'd have to raise my arm up, and uh, and I can't reach out, so I'd have to almost do some small project welding right in front of me. But hey, we'll we'll figure something out. Uh, but for now, it's just going to have to turn into this kind of a vlog thing because when they do my shoulder, it's going to uh, I'm going to be out of pocket for several months apparently. And uh, so I might just have to go around doing vlogging for a while. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I hope you have a blessed day. And um, please uh, subscribe, like, comment, hit the notification button, uh, all that stuff. You know what to do. And you know, give me some ideas. I mean, what, what kind of stuff do you want to see? If I can do it, I'll try to work them in. If I and it may, you may tell me something and that may spark me a, a different idea. Something I do all the time that somebody wants to know about, you know, I don't even think about. It's I'm kind of a do-it-yourself where I fix everything around the house and uh, I'm not, you know, a plumber or a carpenter or anything like that, but I do some, fix some plumbing. I do some, uh, if it needs it, I'll fix it. Uh, if it's uh, electrical, I can, you know, change out some switches, do a little minor electric. I did part of the shop. Uh, electrician did part of it and then he had quit and then, so I finished it. So. Yeah, we'll figure something out. Anyway, you have a blessed day, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.